Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to another weekly favorites. We have five favorites as always. Well, this is kind of cheating because there's this is like a two-in-one, but we want to let you guys know about a couple things we just launched on Daya, DiaCandle.com. Um, so we created these cute little enamel pins. Uh, they're so, so cute. We love them so much. Um, they have like this rubber backing, as you can see. So if you choose to wear this like on your person, it won't irritate your skin at all with like a weird metal. Mm -hmm. um, and then they just come on like this little simple backer, but we think they're super cute. You can put them on a bag, um, like I said, on your shirt, wherever. Um, so these are available now. And the most exciting thing, I know we've spoken about this, um, was our sample packs, which a lot of people requested, which made total sense. We just had to figure out a way to do it. So. Yeah, and so far a lot of you guys have purchased them, which we're so excited about. And when I say purchased, I mean they're free, but you do have to pay for shipping. So we have $7 flat rate shipping on our website. If you've purchased from us, you know mm -hmm. this already. Um, and we decided to make these sample packs free so that all you have to do is pay for shipping and then you get to smell all four scents. And if you choose to purchase a full size of one of them or a few of them, that's great. And if not, at least you could just like smell them mm -hmm. and know what they're like. Um, so they come in this cute little muslin bag. Um, it says Diet Candle. It's stamped with our logo. And then each of them come in these, oh, sorry, in these little pots. Um, so they have the scent name on top, so like this one is wild and free, and as you can see, it's just poured wax, mm -hmm. so it's really just for you to be able to smell them. There's no wick, it's not a votive, it's really just a sample pack. Mm -hmm. This is dark and stormy. Of all of the waxes. Yeah, so you can't light them, they're just for smelling purposes. Mm -hmm. And one thing, one tip we wanted to give you guys is if, I mean, we think these are so strong even in this little jar, mm -hmm. um, but if you need if you can't like smell it for whatever reason, take your finger and rub it in the wax to like kind of re-stimulate it. It's a really soft wax, so it'll mm -hmm. help like bring the oils to the top. Yeah. But you should be able to smell them. Yeah. They are very strong. <laughs> we think they're really strong. Um, so yeah, we wanted to mention those because we're really excited about it, honestly. Like it's something we've been wanting to do since we started mm -hmm. Dyad, um, but we just didn't take the time um, to get it made and you know, um, get it on the website and so we're really glad we finally did it and that you guys are receptive to it mm -hmm. and we hope that it's helpful moving forward and then as we add scents mm -hmm. we'll probably just do more of these yep. packs exactly. um, or add mm -hmm. to this one so you'll have like more options mm -hmm. in this sample pack mm -hmm. okay um next up i'll talk about a fashion favorite which i've been wearing these like every day so i'm like i have to put them in the weekly favorites they are the everlane 90s cheeky jean kind of hard to show up here. If I have a photo of myself wearing them, I don't think I do yet, but if I if I do, I'll we'll put, put a photo or even from the website. Yeah, yeah, I can put a photo of the website and I'll obviously link them down below. But my favorite part about these is that they are the five button closure, which is like really standard for 90s jeans. Like all Levi's have that or all the Levi's 501s have that. And they're kind of reminiscent of that they lace so nicely, like they're very high-waisted. They're kind of like a standard mom jean where they're not super form-fitting, at least on me. Um, but they kind of like have a slight taper to the leg. These ones are a bit cropped because I got the short ones, or they're called the ankle. Um, and they're just the softest denim. I own a lot of Everlane denim now. I think I have like five pairs total. And out of all of them, these are so incredibly soft. I don't know if they're made at a different location. They're made in Vietnam, it says. But yeah, so soft. And I will say, I've talked about this before, that I usually size one size down in denim. So like, we're usually a 26, but I always usually get a 25 at Everlane. But these I had to go down another size. So I'm a 24 crop, if you're similar um, in size to us. And I got the blue shade. They were sold out of the light shade. And I also really like the white. But this is such a pretty blue. Like, it's like a true blue jean, which I don't really have. So... I just love these. I've been living in them. They look good with boots. They look good with flats. They're, they just are so soft and comfortable. So highly recommend if you're looking for new jeans. I have a makeup favorite this week. Um, I've been wearing this foundation nonstop. It's the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. I saw Jen of Budiction. I guess, um, is she even Budiction anymore? No, Jen, Jen Phelps. Phelps. Yeah, she used to be Budiction and we've been following her for years. Um, she spoke about this and she's really dry skin and she is 40 so she has more mature skin so I feel like anytime she loves a foundation I know I'm gonna love it because it's good for like dry skin and like won't settle into fine lines and she spoke so highly of this that I had to pick it up I got it on Amazon I have the shade 
20 classic ivory this runs dark like mm -hmm. I mean even in, it's a little bit too dark for me and this is like one of the lightest shades but I really love it I feel like it is very radiant without being overly dewy like it doesn't I wouldn't even call it dewy I feel like it's like a very natural finish um, it's like a light to medium coverage but I think you could build it up if you wanted the consistency is really nice like it blends really quickly um, you have a lot of playtime too like it doesn't dry down really at all like you have to set it with powder if you want it to dry down it says there's hyaluronic acid in it um, you can wear it for 12 hours uh, it's dermatologist tested I don't know I think it's a really really good drugstore foundation um, and I know there have been like quite a few ones lately but this one is top of my list for sure okay next is a very random skincare favorite so I think I've talked about the skincare addiction reddit thread that I just love and I was searching um, for some reviews on the brand Biosance and I came across a thread that said that the actual like squalane oil that's in all of Biosance products like the the inky name is Neosance and you can get it on lotioncrafters.com and it's really a cool site. They have like basically everything you need to make like your own skincare. Oh. Yeah, like there's a ton of raw materials. It's really cool, but um, I saw a lot of people said that they had purchased this from that site and it's the exact same squalane oil that's derived from sugar, sugar cane, I believe, um, instead of olives that Biosense uses. So they're like, if you're a fan of that, save a lot of money and get this. And it was only $7 and it had like over an ounce and I had to depot it and put it into this little dropper that was just my ordinary squalling that I used up. And so far I love it and I do totally see a difference between the um, sugarcane squalling and the olive. The olive, I don't know if it was breaking me out, but I definitely felt like it was moisturizing, but it never like fully felt like it sunk in and it didn't like leave my skin looking very luminous. But um, this, I wake up and my skin like feels so moisturized more than it has in like a year. Like it's so nice. I've been using it for about a week now and I would say it's also a bit more fluid so it soaks in a bit better um, but it's still squalling so if you like squalling I'm sure you'd like this and it's just so affordable like I still this is full like I filled it up and I still have like a whole other bottle because of how much it came with it so really pleased I'm such a hot tip like that Biosound squalling I think is like $40 yeah it's a lot so seven versus 40 it's such a good deal our last favorite this week is a tech favorite so I don't know if we spoke I know we've spoken about it that we used to subscribe to PlayStation view and we had mm -hmm. such mixed feelings about it we liked it because they had so many channels like it was one of the only services that included like the Hallmark channel mm -hmm. so I liked it for that but now I have Philo I know I've spoken about that to watch like Hallmark movies on um, and PlayStation view was coming to an end mm -hmm. and it was kind of like permanently just yeah. in general <laughs> it was kind of a blessing in disguise because we really hated the interface it was so difficult to like navigate um, so we were looking up like other options, mm -hmm. you know, like Hulu Live. Or, what were some others? I don't know. You guys know the others. All of them. And YouTube TV seemed to have like the best reviews, and they offered ABC, which you guys know we can't live without Dancing with the Stars, so we need or like ABC. The Bachelor. Like we watch a lot of ABC shows. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So um, YouTube TV had like all the networks that we needed. And we've been loving it so far. A huge gripe with PlayStation View was that when you would like fast forward, if you had something recorded like on DVR, mm -hmm. you couldn't see what you were fast forwarding. Mm -hmm. Like it wouldn't show up on the screen. Really so you weird. would just guess. You would just play. And if it was still commercial, you would keep going. So annoying. And YouTube TV, I like that. It You can fast forward in like 25 second intervals and it shows like a screen grab. So you know exactly where you can start. It's just so much more efficient. Um, you can save things to your library. It's also easy to navigate live TV. It's just so easy for mm -hmm. people like us that aren't very tech savvy. The in the interface is like, like it's just so simple and like what we wanted and it's really affordable so if you're looking to switch over well i don't know, know if any of you even still have cable but if you're looking for a new um like way to watch network television we highly recommend youtube mm -hmm. tv it's great okay thank you guys so much for watching we hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you next week